Welcome back from an ad break. We will continue with our application questions under the topic application of the, the uh, problem solving techniques. All right, question number three says, read the scenario below and answer the questions that follow. All right, don't forget, the minute you see a scenario, just prepare yourself to quote. And when they say quote, you are taking it word for word from the scenario, directly from the scenario. All right, let's read our scenario. It says NGN Limited, which is NL. NGN Limited is a large company that sells a variety of consumable products. Some of NL investors withdrew their investment, resulting to shortage of capital. NL requested a group of experts to come up with a solution to their problem. They also involved their employees in their decision-making process by requesting them to generate new ideas. Isn't it lovely when employees are involved? All right. NL considered the forces acting for change and against change. I'll repeat that last point. NL considered the forces acting for, for change and against change. Right, the first question says, identify three problem solving techniques applied by NL. Motivate your answer by quoting from the scenario. By now you should know that in grade 10, we focus on four um, problem solving techniques. However, in this question, they said identify three. The three, you are taking them from the scenario above, not just in general, but from the scenario above. Which three uh, problem-solving techniques have you identified? The second question said, advise NL on how they could apply any two of the problem-solving techniques identified in question 3A to solve business problems. So you will choose two of the three identified. In as much as we know that there are four problem-solving techniques, this business has used three techniques. So now you now need to advise the business on how to apply the two of the three. You choose any, any two that you can advise on. All right, I'm sure you have identified. I've given you enough time to um, identify from the scenario. Don't forget you're taking it word for word directly as part of what is motivation. Right, it's important. Right, let's now get to business. Identify, here are the three that I've identified. The first one being Delphi technique. Right, how do you know that it's Delphi technique? Our motivation here will guide us. NL requested a group of experts. Remember the minute you see the word experts, Delphi should come to mind. So NL requested a group of experts to come up with a solution to their problem. So here it's nice, it's good because we understand that we are bringing people that have got more knowledge. They understand what we are talking about. So as proof that this was taken from the scenario, I'm going to show you from my scenario here, NL requested a group of experts to come up with a solution to their problem. I hope you can see that this was taken directly as is. Nothing was taken out, nothing was added, nothing was taken out. Right, the second one, don't forget the question said, three problem solving techniques. So this is the first one. Right, let's look at the second one. Right, brainstorming. Now, motivation, it says they also involved their employees in the decision-making process by requesting them to generate new ideas. Remember when I was reading and I said, it's so lovely when you are involving employees because employees, they feel part of the group when you're going to involve them in the decision-making. So you are giving them that um, freedom. So they also involved, here it is, they also involved their employees in their decision-making process by requesting them to generate the ideas. So here it is. That's proof that it was taken directly, word for word, as is nothing was taken out. Don't forget the minute they say quote from the scenario. This is exactly what we mean. Lastly, we've got force fields. Like I said, they needed three. So one, two, three. Force field analysis. So what is our force field analysis from the scenario? NL considered the forces against for change and against change. And Again, this is the last part of it. So this was the third problem solving technique that was quoted or that was used rather by NL on NGN Limited.
All right, as mentioned, these are three problem solving techniques from the scenario, but in general, this in grade 10, we are dealing with four uh, problem solving techniques. The fourth one being the nominal group technique, in as much as it's not in the scenario, but that does not mean you mustn't know it. Right, the next question said, advise NL on how they could apply any two of the problem solving techniques identified in question 3a to solve the business pro, uh, problems. So now we will be uh, applying or doing an application for all the three, but we need two, um, two problem solving techniques. So with brainstorming, people in the group will suggest ideas and solutions at random. All ideas must be written on a flip chat. So remember, this is now the application. You're not giving us the advantages or the disadvantage of this um, technique, but you are applying how to put this to use. So thirdly, the facilitator must encourage everyone to participate and ensures that no one criticizes any suggestions. So this also empowers people to, or to, is empowers people to uh, come up with ideas because they know that no one is going to criticize their suggestions, meaning all the suggestions are welcomed. Similar ideas are grouped together using colored pens. Lastly, the group will evaluate the ideas and rate them according to how successful they think each idea will be. Don't forget, this is a uh, problem solving technique. Right, secondly, we're looking at the application of the force field analysis. Right, so here the business should describe the current situation and the desired situation. Don't forget, here we are using this uh, technique if you want to um, implement change. And in order for us to implement change successfully, we need to look at that desired uh, situation, rather, or that change from both angles. We're looking at the positives and the negatives of it. So uh, we describe the current situation and the desired where do you want to be. Right. However, we need to look at or use both people. The people who want to change is the management and the employees would be the ones who are against the change. So we need to convince the employees basically to say, let's go with this change. Write a plan or proposal for change in the middle. So what is it that you want to, to bring about? Then you're going to list all the forces driving, which is the advantages of the change. Remember, we said as management, we are the ones who are coming up with the forces for change. And then on the negative, on the on the right hand side, you're going to write uh, all the uh, forces that are resisting change, the negatives of the change that we that uh, we want to bring about. So list all forces in support of change in one column. Then we are signing a score for each from one being weak to five being strong. I hope it makes sense. So with all the forces for change, you write them on one column, the forces against change on the other column, and then each, um, each force will have its own score as to how important it is, how strong it is. Uh, so five being strong, one being weak. If we said, yes, here's the change, but now us going with this change is bad because one today it's going to, um, uh, we don't have enough funds, for example, which is the force, the negative force, and five is strong, we put five next to it. So you are rating those forces. Then determine if change is viable. After adding all the columns or all the forces, you'll you rate them and then you rate them on the other side. So you need to determine if change is viable. If not, check which resisting forces can be influenced or avoided to make change possible. If so, find ways to increase the forces for change and diminish the forces against the change. That is the force field analysis. Based on this outcome, come up with a strategy to help reduce the resisting forces and ensure that changes can be done. Because remember, we want to bring about change. Now we're going to be applying Delphi technique. Remember, Delphi has to do with experts. So a panel of experts is invited to participate in the process. The nicest thing is that these people don't have to be in one place and will be contacted individually. This minimizes what? Conflict, confrontation. Right, a questionnaire is designed and distributed to the panel. Right, number four, the panelists will respond 
we're responding to what? To the questionnaire individually and return it to the organization. But now it depends in the organization. Are we happy with the response? If you're not happy, we're going to give them back the questionnaire to say, no, we are not happy. Please, we need um, a, further ex a further explanation rather. Up until a final summary and feedback report is prepared. If that's the case, a consensus is reached and the best so solution is chosen. Best solution being our ultimate desire. So remember, consensus means what? It means an agreement. An agreement needs to be reached at the end of the day. All right. So we've basically come up to the end of our application questions right but before we wrap up everything we're gonna go on a quick break when we come back we wrap up everything i'll see you just now